Can breast implant illness cause long-term health issues? And so when I speak to clients, as I did yesterday, um, I had a client come in who's been experiencing different symptoms over a number of years. And the end game with inflammation, and in this case, we consider this to be a problem with chronic inflammation, is that all organ systems can ultimately be damaged. And if you couple that to your genetics, then things that considerably uh, inflame your body through your diet, your environment, foreign bodies like a breast implant, hip implant, knee implant, if you're reacting to them, can certainly cause you problems that are going to be uh, long-term problems with chronic inflammation, depending on the body system that they're affecting. So for instance, I have people come in with lots of joint pain that limits their mobility. When you limit your mobility, say for instance, you can't go on a walk with your friends or family or spouse, that makes you more of a sedentary person. You actually may gain more weight because of that, and that leads to a more unhealthy you. Not going to detail about a specific type of illness. I consider anything that promotes chronic inflammation something that will lead to health or long term health consequences. So, when we first introduce ourselves to clients and explain what we consider breast implant illness is to be, which is chronic inflammation, a component of which is the device, I always talk to them about lowering their inflammation. So, if we're looking at ways to lower inflammation, just in our everyday lives, we can start by addressing our diet. You know, I often say you can't outrun a bad diet and you can't pick your parents. But in this setting, we do control what we put into our mouths, whether it's a glass of water or a food product. So consider ways to really lower your inflammation right off the bat are eliminating gluten from your diet, eliminating dairy from your diet. And, and I mean that specifically, say for instance, to me, I'm very sensitive to eggs. I'll get a really almost allergic reaction to eating eggs, but cheese and cheese products, milk, things that you would consider to be okay for you may in fact be really inflammatory to your system. Cut those out. No processed foods. So anything in a box, just don't eat. And then in terms of sugar, some people have real, real issues with attractions to sugar. Some of it's genetic and we could talk about that another time. But so I would only concentrate on real fruits and vegetables for my carbs and sugars, if you will. The fruit that has the least amount of carbs is watermelons, mostly. So there are ways to do it. And when you choose not to, you're just making excuses and promoting your own problems with inflammation. So those are ways to make impacts right away each day. In terms of water, it should be filtered water, depending on where you live and your access to clean water. Well water could be a problem for you, so filter it. And then speaking about air, air quality is such a big issue here where I live in Austin. We have high content of cedar and mold in the air, and I'm particularly sensitive to mold. So I have IQ air uh, filters all around. I have Austin Health Mate Plus Pro filters all around. I choose right now IQ air because it seems to me to be best in class in terms of removing particulate matter, including spores from mold from the air. So once again, a way to control what goes in your mouth from a food and water standpoint and controlling your air quality. When you can do all those, you will lower your inflammation. And then simple things that we do in our inflammation support bundle are vitamin D3, K2, which is a liquid, liposomal vitamin C, which is a, a liquid, oral liposomal glutathione, obviously, which is a liquid. These are options along with our liposomal B complex to give you the nutrients you need, the vitamins you need, but in a way that I don't worry about your gut absorbing them because many of my clients have gut issues. So once again, right off the bat, things you can do to take care of yourself that aren't surgical in nature, but will help you decrease your inflammation.